insane NBA records that were broken during the 2020 NBA season. Every NBA season, multiple records are broken and new standards are set. The saying, records are made to be broken, is something that's very applicable in the NBA. With more and more talent entering the league every season, we continue to see milestones be reached that we thought we would never see met again. Here is a list of 10 records that were broken over the abbreviated 2019-2020 season. LeBron James passes Kobe Bryant for third on the all-time scoring list. On January 25, 2020, in a game against the Philadelphia 76ers, LeBron James scored his 33,644th point in the NBA, which moved him into third on the all-time scoring list. In achieving the feat, James passed good friend and NBA all-time great Kobe Bryant. As he came into the game only 18 points behind Bryant, he scribbled Mamba for Life on his sneakers, hoping to pass Bryant who would tragically die in a helicopter crash the next day. The basket came with 7 minutes and 23 seconds left in the third quarter. The always rowdy Philadelphia crowd gave James a much-deserved standing ovation after the mark was announced by the announcer. Last year, James passed Michael Jordan to move into fourth on the list, and everyone knew it was only a matter of time before he passed Bryant. James currently sits in third with 34,087 points and has sights set on the number two spot, currently held by Karl Malone. James is currently 2,841 points behind Malone. With James averaging a little over 2,000 points a season for his career, he should pass Malone sometime during the 2021-2022 season. Comfortably sitting in first on the all-time list is another Laker great, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, with 38,387 points, which is 4,300 points ahead of James. Depending on how much longer James plays, we could very well see him move into first on the all-time scoring list, which is a record many thought would never be broken. The day after James broke Bryant's record, the basketball world was shaken to its core when Bryant and eight other passengers, including his 13-year-old daughter, tragically passed away in a helicopter crash. The last tweet Bryant sent was one congratulating James for passing him on the scoring list. The tweet read, continuing to move the game forward, at King James. Much respect, my brother. Hashtag 33,644. Vince Carter sets the record for most consecutive seasons played. The 2019-2020 season was the 22nd consecutive season of Carter's NBA career. Now in his 22nd season, Carter is hardly what he used to be, but that doesn't make the feat any less amazing. Carter has played for eight different teams during the 22-year span, but he spent his most notable years with the Toronto Raptors and New Jersey Nets. Since then, Carter has turned into somewhat of a journeyman, playing his next 10 years with six different teams. Unfortunately for Carter, who has played in 88 postseason games, he never made it to the NBA Finals. Carter will undoubtedly be a first ballot Hall of Famer, and even though he never got the chance to showcase his talents in the NBA Finals, he gave all of us one of the greatest performances in dunk contest history. In 2000, Carter put on a show at the dunk contest in Oakland. For many NBA fans, it's regarded as the best performance ever put on in any dunk contest. While there are several other players who sit behind Carter with 21 consecutive seasons, Carter is the only NBA player to play in four different decades. Carter, who was drafted by the Toronto Raptors in 1998, has played in the 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s. Ja Morant becomes the first player in NBA history to record at least 25 points and 8 assists, with a 90% field goal percentage in a single game. Morant has been on an absolute tear during his rookie season. Right now, this young man is averaging 17 points per game and 7 assists per game, while shooting almost 50% from the field and 36% from three. Those are impressive numbers for any player in the league, let alone a rookie out of Murray State. Morant was likely on his way to winning Rookie of the Year before the 2019-2020 NBA season came to a halt. While Zion Williamson will make a strong case of his own for Rookie of the Year, Morant actually has the Grizzlies as the A seed in the loaded Western Conference, to many people's surprise. What's even more impressive about this accomplishment is that it's a non-rookie related record. Morant is the only player in the history of the league to pull this off. Morant has been must-see TV all season long, and has turned the grindhouse in Memphis into an exciting place to play again. With Memphis also grabbing a running mate for him in the 2018 draft when they picked Jaron Jackson Jr., the Grizzlies will be a very exciting team for years to come. James Harden is the only player to ever have back-to-back 50-point -back games while hitting at least 10 threes in each game. 
It's not at all surprising to find Harden on a list like this. Over the past three seasons, Harden has been averaging over 30 points per game, while also shooting over 35% from three. With the up-and-down style of basketball that the Rockets play, we can probably expect to see more accomplishments like this from Harden over the years. The first half of Harden's two-game record-breaking performance came against the Cleveland Cavaliers, where he scored 55 points on 20 of 34 from the field and 10 of 18 from three. The second performance was against the Orlando Magic, where he scored 54 points on 19 of 31 from the field and 10 of 15 from three. This is one of the most incredible two-game stretches we have ever seen in recent years. Considering the number of games where Harden has taken at least 15 threes, it wouldn't be a surprise to see him break the single-game record for three-pointers, which is 14, and was set by Klay Thompson during the 2018-2019 season. James Harden, fewest shots taken in a 60-point game we find Harden on the list again with another amazing scoring accomplishment. There is no debate that Harden is one of the greatest scorers in NBA history. Earlier this season in a game against the Atlanta Hawks, Harden scored 60 points on 16 of 24 shooting. He was also sent to the free throw line 23 times and converted 20 of his 23 attempts. Now, while the free throws are obviously one of the biggest factors that allowed Harden to get 60 points on only 24 shots, he was also 8 of 14 from three-point range. This means that 44 of those 60 points came either from three or from the free throw line. It comes is no surprise that the Rockets beat the Hawks that night by 47 points. Trey Young and James Harden become the first opposing players to record 40-point triple-doubles in the same game. We find Harden on our list again, and again against the Atlanta Hawks. This time, he had a partner and sophomore sensation Trey Young. While the headline sounds impressive, it actually becomes less so when you dive into the numbers. Harden finished the game with 41 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. He also shot 26% from the field and 20% from three, which is hardly lighting it up. Another 23 trips to the free throw line ended up saving the scorer's night, as he was able to convert 19 of those. Young, who finished the game with 42 points, 13 rebounds, and 10 assists, fared a little better from the field. Young shot 36% from the field and 36% from three, while converting 16 of 18 free throw attempts. While neither player was particularly efficient in their performances, they both finished with stat lines that set an NBA record. Luka Doncic becomes the first player to record multiple triple-doubles in under 30 minutes, while also becoming the only player to put up at least 30 points, 12 rebounds, and 12 assists in under 30 minutes. Doncic was a record-breaking machine during his first season, and that has continued into his sophomore season. While Doncic has broken quite a few records already this season, these two stand out because they have nothing to do with his age, which a lot of his records do. Doncic broke both of these records earlier this year against the Golden State Warriors, when he put up 31 points, 12 rebounds, and 15 assists on only 16 shots. While a lot of people have debated the significance of the triple-double, the numbers remain impressive nonetheless, especially when you take into account that Doncic is only 20 years old. As we mentioned earlier, Doncic has broken several records in regards to his age during the course of his second season. Those records include the most 30-point triple-doubles before the age of 21, youngest player to ever record consecutive 35-point triple-doubles, and the only player with multiple triple-doubles before the age of 21. Doncic continues to impress during his second season, and is considered to possibly be having one of the greatest seasons for a 20-year-old in NBA history. If they are able to resume the 2019-2020 season, and Doncic continues on the pace he is at, he would finish with more points and assists than any player at his age ever. LeBron James becomes the only player with 9,000 rebounds and 9,000 assists. We find James on our list again, which shouldn't surprise anyone by this point. When it's all said and done for James, his name will be all over the NBA record books. James is already regarded by many as the greatest player of all time, and he just continues to add to his resume. James has averaged at least seven rebounds and seven assists for every season of his career, which makes it hard to see anyone ever catching him with this record. Right now, some can possibly see Luka Doncic being able to challenge this as his career progresses, but for now, James sits alone. James also became the first player to record a triple-double against every team, but that record was tied later in the season by Russell Westbrook. Lou Williams set the record for most 20-point scoring games off the bench. Williams has been a career sixth man, and it seems like he prefers it that way. Williams has been so good off the bench throughout his career that he has taken home three of the last five sixth man of the year awards. Williams broke the record earlier this season where he scored 21 points against the New York Knicks. This was his 200th 20-point scoring game coming off the bench. While Williams is technically a sixth man, he averages around 30 minutes a game, which is a lot more than starters in the league. Williams is also often in the game to finish it off when things are on the line. Williams has also been a great X-factor for his teams coming off the bench, with the ability to put up points in bunches. Some people think Williams shouldn't be eligible for these awards or records due to the minutes he plays, but until someone changes the rules, he will be considered arguably the best six man in the league. 
Golden State Warriors lose their first two games of the season by a combined 47 points, which is the largest point differential for any team that played in the NBA Finals the year before. Coming off five straight trips to the Finals, the Warriors had become the NBA's gold standard. During their run, they won three NBA championships and set a single-season record for most wins, with 73 during the 2015-2016 season. While there were periods during their run in which they looked completely unbeatable, we knew that wouldn't be the case this year. With the departure of Kevin Durant and the injury to Klay Thompson, we knew the Warriors wouldn't be the same team this year. We didn't think they would be quite this bad. The Warriors were able to add all-star guard D'Angelo Russell during the 2019 offseason, but with an early season injury to Steph Curry and Thompson being out for the season, the Warriors were not even close to the same team. Currently, the Warriors sit at the bottom of the NBA with a 15-50 record and made an in-season trade to acquire former number one pick Andrew Wiggins, sending Russell to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Next season, the Warriors will likely have one of the top picks in the NBA draft and will return Thompson, Curry, Green, and Wiggins, which should be pretty formidable in a loaded Western Conference. So while they may be down for now, the Warriors won't be out for long. That concludes our list of insane records broken during the 2019-2020 season. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.